Now let us derive the second kinematic equation of motion using this graphical method. For that, let us consider a graph that is the velocity time graph in which velocity is taken along the y axis velocity and the time is along the x axis. And for a motion with constant acceleration, the graph will be a straight line like this. That is like this. Now, that is for uniform accelerated motion or uniform motion, the acceleration remains constant. So the graph will be a velocity time graph will be a straight line. Now, suppose we have this initial time that is at the start of the motion time is t1 equal to 0 and after a particular instant we have the final time t2 let's say that equal to t. Initially when time t1 equal to 0 its velocity will be v0. v0 is the initial velocity and after a time t t the final velocity P, v. That means this length is V0 and up to this length it will be V. Clear. Now we know the fact that the area under velocity time graph that is this whole area I mean this green the region represented by these green dots is the area under this red line or area under the velocity time graph. So if we find this area we know that is we have area under the velocity time graph area under velocity time graph gives displacement displacement of the body. So we need to find this area. So let's name that as A, B, C. Let's draw a perpendicular from this point to let's say C. This is D, E. And I, I just drawn a perpendicular from B to the length line C, D, C, E to meet at the point E. That is this is 90 degree. So in order to find the area of this trapezium A, B, C, E, that is area of let's say A, B, C, E equal to we can divide that whole area into two sections that is a rectangle and a triangle is equal to area of rectangle A, B, D, E de plus area of triangle bdc bdc and you know the area of abce that is the area under velocity time graph gives the displacement let's represent displacement as s now area of abde abde is a rectangle the area of the rectangle will be base ae into height base in length into breadth that is AB. Length into breadth is the area of the rectangle. Plus now the area of this triangle will be half into base base of the triangle is BD into the height altitude of this triangle is DC. Clear. Therefore SC is equal to now we can put the values of all this factors. Now AE, if you look at AE, A is the time T. That is this whole length will be T. So T into AB. What, what, what is AB? AB equal to V0 plus half into what about BD? BD again is this AE and BD remains the same. This also is T. 
T into DC. See, this DC is same as, let's say, A, B, C, D, E, F. That is, this BF is equal to C, DC. And BF will be V minus V0. That is, this length, this length is equal to V minus V0. This whole length minus V0. And that, that is same as CD. CD is also V minus V0. This length. So, this is equal to into V minus V0. So, this can be written as S is equal to TV0 or V0T plus half into T into V minus V0. Let's call this as equation number 1. Now, we have, we already derived the first kinematic equation of motion. And we are going to use the first kinematic equation in here. And we know V equal to final velocity V equal to V0 initial velocity plus AT. So that V minus V0 is equal to AT. Let's call this as equation number 2. Now substitute this equation 2 in equation 1. That is in this equation you will get SC is equal to V0T plus half into t into a t. Instead of v minus v0, we can write a t. So, s is equal to v0 t plus half a t square, where a is the acceleration. So, this is the second kinematic equation of motion. 